The uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters with the search and recovery personnel as, as well as support personnel from NASA, the European Space Agency and Roscosmos, all of those helicopters are flying around the landing zone waiting for touchdown, which is expected just five minutes from now. Oleg Novitsky, the uh, Soyuz commander, wrapping up his second long-duration mission on the International Space Station and a total of 340 days in space on his two flights. Thomas Pesquet on this, his first flight, completing 196 days in space, 194 days for the two of them on board the International Space Station after they were launched last November from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. It was a two-day rendezvous for them and Peggy Whitson. Whitson, of course, remains on board the station. Now, as part of the Expedition 52 crew, she'll be coming home in early September with Fyodor Yurchikin and Jack Fisher. Time to touch down, about three minutes, and now you can see uh, one of the Russian uh, MI-8 helicopters flying uh, around uh, the spacecraft. Part of the contingent of uh, recovery forces. Uh, right after uh, the Soyuz touches down, uh, those helicopters will begin to descend and land uh, nearby the uh, Soyuz vehicle in sequential fashion. An inflatable orange medical tent will be set, uh, will be set up nearby. Uh, in which uh, the two crew members will be carried in their chairs after they are extracted from uh, the Soyuz spacecraft. This landing occurring uh, just about an hour before sunset in south central Kazakhstan. Everything continuing to go very smoothly for the return home for Oleg Novitsky and Toma Pesquet. Two minutes until touchdown. The uh, Soyuz spacecraft now nearing uh, its landing site, just seconds away from touchdown.
standing by for the firing of the soft landing engines. Touchdown, the Soyuz is back on Earth with Oleg Novitsky and Tomas Pesquet. Landing occurring at 9.10 a.m. Central Time, 10.10 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.10 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. The Soyuz MSO-3 spacecraft, Oleg Novitsky and Tomas Pesquet, back on Earth after 196 days in space.